Well, hello, folks. <clears throat> Should have cleared my throat before I press record. Welcome to the vlog in these trying times, yes, in the middle of a coronavirus crisis that I'm sure you're all aware of. Well, I thought I'd give you a bit of an update on our situation here in sunny Retford. And yes, the sun does continue to come. Continue to continue to shine. <laughs> yeah, oh, you've got to keep your pecker up, as they say, don't you? So, let me give you a little bit of a rundown of our situation. As many of you know, we opened the kitchen uh, at the start of the month. Today is, I think, the 20th of March. And um, then, obviously, the coronavirus has hit. So, uh, business has gone on as usual. But of course, we haven't seen a massive upturn in uh, in customers, diners, uh, and the rest of it. But we haven't seen a total wipeout of the industry either, which was really on the cards after Boris Johnson and the Conservative government's recent announcement to stay away from pubs, clubs, bars, and cafes, which could potentially have huge damaging effects on the industry and obviously on uh, the brewery and the pub that we've worked so hard to build over the past few years. Now, this advice is a bit of a cop-out really uh, because basically what the government is saying is that uh, here's a knife, go and stab yourself in the back but don't come to us for any support. And at the same time, they frightened all of our potential customers away. So not only do we have to stay open because they haven't forced a closure. Therefore, we can't claim any business insurance for business interruption. Um, but we still, of course, have to pay rent. We still have 14 members of staff on the payroll that need a wage and some type of security, you know, we can't just turn them away and say, we're closing the doors. You're on your own, Jack. Thanks for the service. Goodbye. You know, we've just set on two new chefs. And of course, uh, all the waitresses and whatever else that we've had to uh, get on board to allow us to serve food, basically. And yeah, well, then this comes and hits. So uh, it's the timing of it is terrible. It's nobody's fault. I understand that. But the amount of work that uh, Tom and Matt have put in to get the kitchen up and running, it would be really unfair for us to turn around and close close, uh, close the pub and restaurant and leave them in the lurch, you know. Job security for our employees is paramount for us, really, as is keeping a roof over our head and paying the rent. So I've been at work all week this week, um, I've been piling over insurance papers, speaking to people who are in the know and uh, really trying to get a handle on where we are in terms of the financial position and uh, in terms of the well-being as well for the customers that do continue to come in and support us. Without them, then we would have definitely had to close the doors earlier on in the week, but um, We've introduced some sanitation methods that wouldn't necessarily be needed in peacetime, if you like. So uh, we're using paracetic acid from the brewery and we're spraying pretty much every single surface in the pub. The backs of chairs, touch points on fridges, uh, door handles, uh, sink taps, everything. It's all getting hit with paracetic acid to uh, kill and it, and it is effective against virus not just bacteria and um, yeah to keep our clients safe and of course they have really rallied round and we've had uh, what would you call it sustainable levels of custom over the past week or so but like I say nowhere near what we were anticipating with the opening with the launch of the restaurant so it's going to be difficult moving forwards and we've all spent a lot of time and worked really hard to try and get this to get this thing going like. Um, so I've not had any time off work uh, when the shops have been open. So we are literally living 
kind of hand to mouth at home we've got no supplies we didn't have the luxury you know of going out to buy groceries never mind panic buying so today's Friday we don't serve food today I brewed this week as well I brewed four days. I've made two thousand liters of beer this week so today I've taken off and I've decided to go out into the wilderness and see if I can't get some supplies for my family so that uh, we can at least eat during this uh, this crazy, crazy time that we're living through. Um, we do have uh, suppliers for the pub who are bringing us fresh fruit, vegetables and meat uh, on a tri-weekly basis. Um, but there have been restrictions from the uh, wholesalers as well, such as Macro and Booker's. So we ordered things, for instance, we order usually around 48 to 56 toilet rolls every couple of weeks for the pub, okay? Because, well, we have quite a lot of drinkers in there usually, and uh, they all need to do a wee and a poo, as they say. Um, but we put it on the order this week, along with some other things like tin tomatoes and what have you for the kitchen. It was a no-show. So I've been onto the wholesaler's website this morning and it appears that uh, Macro, which is one of the uh, Macro and Bookers, they're kind of the same company in the UK. They're a wholesale distributor and they provide pretty much everything. They've limited their hours to the... They're closing at 3 p.m. in the afternoon. They used to stay up until 9 in the evening. So from 6 a.m., till 3 p.m. That's the only time you're gonna get in to see what they've got on the shelves. But from 6 a.m. till 11 a.m., they are limiting the customers that are allowed into the store to those who own either a retail or a catering business. And fortunately for us, we fall into that bracket of a catering business because we've opened the restaurant in the pub. So I'm gonna go across and see if we can pick some stuff up from the wholesalers. I thought I'd take you guys with me but first we do have to nip down to the pub and brewery and uh, just check out the lay of the land and make sure everything's fine. And then, uh, yeah, well, we'll see where we go from here. Like I say, let's go, to the, let's go over to the wholesalers and see if indeed we can get some supplies for our wee family here who are stranded in an island of nothingness, or so it seems. Right, let's get going. Uh, everything is in order at the brewery. So while the traffic's moving, I'm gonna head over to Sheffield to the wholesalers. We're suggesting, so that then complements other bundlings that they've got. And in that way, people then are not in that situation where they're so hard pressed, they have to decide between hardship and help for forcing themselves to go to work when they're not really healthy enough to do so. Understood. That's using the benefit system to target people in need. The other suggestion is universal basic income. Now yeah. here we get into okay. totally new territory. That's Well, that was Booker's. It was all very surreal in there. No bread, no tissue. We've just got some uh, <laughs> essentials, got some cider and uh, some cereals. But yeah, very, very strange feeling in there. So we're going to go around the corner now and we're going to see what they've got in Macro, which is uh, another kind of subsid subsidiary of Booker's. Let's go and have a look. Well, another totally surreal experience in macro. I managed to pick a few things up, but they'd only kind of let me have one pack of tissue, not toilet tissue, and I got some peeled plum tomatoes so I can make some curries and stuff, and uh, there's some rice and whatnot in the back. So they wouldn't let me have any m milk or bread because there wasn't any there, so I've had to come 
to Sainsbury's. Gotta get the bread and milk. Uh, but yeah, there's a little bit in Sainsbury's, nothing too bad. Let's head out back to Retford now then. Well, today has taken a massive turn. Um, I can't say it was 100% unexpected, but it certainly has knocked me for six and quite frankly, I'm not sure what emotions I'm feeling at the moment. Um, but yeah, this has just happened. We are collectively telling, telling cafes, pubs, bars and restaurants to close tonight as soon as they reasonably can and not to open tomorrow. And I want to stress that we will review the situation each month to see if we can relax any of these measures. Employers will be able to contact HMRC for a grant to cover most of the wages of people who are not working but are furloughed and kept on payroll rather than being laid off. Government grants will cover 80% of the salary of retained workers up to a total of £2,500 a month. That's just above the median income. So, to cut or read between the lines, hold on a minute. So yeah, sorry about that. As you can imagine, we're having a lot of phone calls at the moment. So in a nutshell, uh, the Chancellor has just announced that all pubs, restaurants and bars in the UK have to close from midnight tonight. And that puts us in quite a scary predicament. My biggest worry has been, can we afford to pay our staff? Can we afford to pay the rent? So it looks like there's gonna be an 80% bailout package for all staff members. So they can go home as of 12 o'clock tonight and be on 80% of their normal pay. And there looks like we're gonna be able to qualify for 10,000 pounds to uh, put towards our rent payments. I don't know how long this closure is gonna last. It doesn't affect the brewery at the moment, apart from the fact that we won't be able to sell any, any beer to any, anybody, let alone ourselves. So they're tough times, they're unprecedented times. I'm still in shock, folks. I was trying to make a video this morning, I was trying to make a vlog to keep people informed. I know I've not been on, online a lot recently because of starting up the kitchen, which is another, you know, massive, uh, it's been a massive drain on financial resources, frankly, and, and will, will power for all of us. And now this comes and kicks you in the balls. So yeah, I need some time to process this, I think. Maybe I'll get online in the next couple of days to uh, let you know what position we're in. I'll try to, I mean, it kind of keeps my pecker up a little bit, making the videos for you. And it keeps everyone involved and informed. So, uh, yeah, that's the best I can do for you tonight. We've got seven hand pull on tonight, Cascale. It's all gotta be drank by midnight tonight, otherwise it's gonna go sour in the casks. You only get three days on Cascale generally. So, uh, we've already reduced the price of our beers down to 150 a pint. If they're not gone by the next hour or so, they'll be coming down to a pound and then to 50p until they're all gone. So I'm gonna go and help them drain these barrels dry. Take care of yourselves, guys. It is dangerous out there, although we might not realize it. If it's not dangerous for you, it might be dangerous for one of your elderly relatives or something like that. My biggest concern really is how my mum's gonna get through this, considering her condition. Yeah, anyway, I'm signing out. And it's not really a happy ending, is it? Cheers guys.